All right, Chief X, with the Common Sense Science coming back at you. Part two. Part two. You should watch part one first before you watch this part two. Find it. Check it out. So, Phil Valentine exposed again. And um, we're going to analyze the teaching and how they brainwash, miseducate, and intentionally lie to the people. Okay? Phil Valentine is a flat earther. Let's make no, 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 let's not confuse that. Ice covering the Antarctic. David Rumsey carefully pieced together one of the world's largest maps, a map created by Urbano Monte, amounting to over 60 pages when he put this map together. When they were placed together, the map stretched over 10 feet in diameter. Like the flat earthers say, the earth is a flat disk. And it's a wall, an ice wall, and things that you can't pass. Do you see what he's talking about? Covering Antarctica? And he's trying to play this role like he's not a flat earther. He calls himself a, he believes in an infinite plane. Which is you're on one plane. Basically the earth is one big flat plane that just goes on and on. It's infinite. Listen to him. He'll tell you. But don't, in, in, in infinite, people who are infinite plane people are basically flat earthers who could not answer certain questions in certain maths, they got debunked on, so they flipped the script and they became infinite planers. Listen. Again, the map shows vast tracts of land not shown on modern day maps. Hmm. Okay. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, he's trying to scare you. Fear tactics. He's a charlatan and fraud. Just watch. This is what flat earthers put up all the time. He's trying to to, to, to miseducate our babies on purpose. He's a habitual liar. Is dealing with your flat earth. And I don't believe in flat earth. Let me just get this straight. That's because I'm saying those words. It's, because it's familiar. I don't believe in no damn flat earth. Let's just get that straight. That's Christian. They believe that we are on a flat earth. I don't believe that we're on a flat. I believe that we are on an infinite plane. Because when the... And just watch his belly. <laughs> Throughout this. Just look at his belly. Isn't he supposed to be one of these health gurus? Didn't he the one who jump-started Queen of Fools program when they were married years ago? He has Dunlap's disease. His belly Dunlapped over his belt. Eternal creates, it creates infinity. That which is infinite is feminine. That which is eternal is masculine. They he cannot prove that. That's something he just made up. And everybody in the audience, the cult members of this cult leader, believes it. Yeah, they work together to create the masculine and feminine, the material and the spiritual. They work back and forth with one another. In fact, they are the same. So, when I say flat earth, don't tag me with no Christian BS on, you know what I mean. Yeah, don't say flat earth then. Stop teaching flat earth shit. Also, look at this. Now, Dendera. And he rolls the flat earth and the infinite plane bullcrap into African shit. Dendera. And he's trying to lewd and correlate the two. He's trying to be slick. This is all mind games. He's a master mind manipulator. I've always called him a master myth maker. Now, if you look at the dendera, and you see how, how interesting how you see the four corners and how they broke it down, same difference. If you look at the way that they broke down here before, you see how... We mapped out the same four directions. That's where they take it from. It's not just the sky that they were actually dealing with in Dandera. Okay? He's trying to hint. It's not the, just the sky that they was dealing with. He's giving you hints. Now, 
Kepler, in his thesis, this is a guy who wrote about him, Kepler's relations to the Jesuits, Dr. Jorge Schopenhauer of the University of Leipzig states, it is well known that the Order of Jesuits, listen carefully, was the most important and most active Catholic order in the fields of science during the 17th and 18th centuries. One field of particularly intensive, successive study carried out by the Jesuits was astronomy. Hmm. So he's trying to demonize science. He's trying to demonize the study of astronomy and he correlates it with the Jesuits. In the 17th and 18th century, 16th century, European world didn't, wasn't able to read. There were certain higher class people that were only able to read. You know? Um, so because only certain upper class people were allowed to read, he wants to demonize them for studying astrology. What he's doing is trying to demonize science to get you guys to think that, hey, the astronomical astrological information that we have is false. This is what he's doing, but you have to listen clear. And he's trying to bring you to the flat earth as that's being right. Then he'll interject and lie. Watch. Many of their names are associated with the most important discoveries in the history of astronomy. Now here's this order that states that we are going to lie and do whatever we have to do to push our agenda, and they're the ones who made all the discoveries. Now, what he just said is nowhere in here. Lie and do anything we got to do. That's nowhere in here. He interjects that to mind fuck you. This is just about how Kepler and others, and Jesuits and certain Catholics, were studying science and astronomy in the universe. But he interjects to put fear in you, as if they're gonna just they're just lying about the universe. It's nothing wrong with studying science in the universe and astronomy. We are learning today. It is nearly impossible, this person says, to list all the names of those Jesuits who made serious contributions as astronomers and mathematicians. All they were doing was making contributions as astronomers and mathematicians. Nothing's wrong with that. He's trying to make it seem like it was an evil thing, and they did it with the intent to lie and throw us off. He's full of shit. Whoa. In fact, after the publishing of Copernicus's work, the records show that the Jesuits produced more astronomers than any other academic discipline or demographic in all of Europe. The Jesuits? A religious order? Black check. A religious order that focused on producing so many temporal scientists but more suspiciously, scientists focus predominantly in one, one and only one arena of scientific disciplines? That should cause any logical thinker to ponder motive. He got that from a conspiracy site. That's where he got that from. And posted it. One and That's from a conspiracy site, and I'll show you shortly. Only one arena of scientific disciplines? That should cause any logical thinker to ponder motive. Here are some of the Jesuits. Any logical thinker to ponder. But let me go back. You see, there's no references. There's no source. It's just him typed up with sentences and words. Then he got a fact check. Like, oh, fact check. Who fact checked it? Where's the source? Do you see it? Because that source comes from a conspiracy site. He don't want to show you that source. Because then you'll know he's full of shit. The motive. Here are some of the Jesuits. And then he pops up a list of Jesuits, their years of their life, and what they study. Italian astronomer, Belgian mathematician, Polish astronomer, Italian math mathematician astronomer. Uh, and these guys, he just studied math and astronomy and things of that nature. So he posts a list of different people who studied astronomy and mathematics. As if that's, you know, giving you some validation to what he's spooky shit he's talking about. So what? That the school of modern astronomy goes back and teaches to all those who wish to become astronomers and astrophysicists and so forth. Here's another one. The list is much greater. I just put two up there for you to see. Who cares? Okay. What's, what's the sin in that? Look, 
The Vatican is the largest and longest owners of observatories. Starting from the 16th century to this day with the recent building of its newest observatory called Lucifer. Since then, they've owned all information about the heavens and in conjunction with their Nazi accomplices at NASA, they've steered and controlled the narratives that we've all studied about creation, the universe, and especially God. Now, he's talking about this, look, Lucifer. And let me just show you where he gets this stuff. Lucifer Telescope. And let's read what this says. Like many conspiracy theories, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what Phil Valentine is. He's a conspiracy theorist and a fear monger who means no good to black people. The white man Phil Valentine means no good to black people. Like many conspiracy theories, Lucifer Telescope. Now, it is a Lucifer Telescope. But they named it. A private institution named it. Not the Vatican. Not c c Catholics. Max Planck Institute made the Lucifer Telescope. Lucifer, and it's like stands for the morning star. A star. Astronomy. They just call it Luci now. But it was used to be called Lucifer. But he's trying to make it spooky. But he gets this information from conspiracy sites. Like many conspiracy theories, Lucifer Telescope conspiracy theory involves the usual antagonists, Catholics in the Vatican and the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits. That's all Phil is about. Catholicism, the Vatican, the Jesuits, bearing fear factor, trying to scare you. Lucifer, aliens, Okay, according to the wingnut Bible thumpers. He's teaching wingnut Christian Bible thumping shit. According to the wingnut Bible thumpers, dingbat conspiracy theorists, the Vatican is in possession of a telescope which is named Lucifer, which they have used to find extraterrestrials. <laughs> Come on now, Phil. Furthermore, Catholics... The Vatican and the Jesuits are keeping the discovery of E.T.'s secret. This is the shit Phil Valentine is pushing. Aliens. The Vatican got aliens. They're keeping it secret. This conspiracy theory is propagated by the Conian Institute in websites such as A Time to Believe, Open Minds. Now look, I went... Because I didn't even know that they were going to mention Open Minds, but I knew it's a bullshit website. Open Minds. Look, this is what Phil Valentine is pushing. Wait a minute, let me show you. I'm not just talking. Look. This is the video of Phil Valentine talking. Look. You see the pictures? Open Minds. UFO news and investigations. He's wasting our time with UFO news and investigations. Look. UFO video portal. International Congress. Lucifer is helping Vat Vatican astronomers look for extraterrestrials. A new book claims the Vatican astronomers are looking for extraterrestrials. And they're using Lucifer to do it. And all this spook shit. This is what Phil Valentine is doing. This is what he's always done for a long time. Let's get back. Um, Chuck Missy of Cajona House has given the conspiracy theory his blessing. Going on to co-author the hybrid age with Tom Horn, one of the originators of the conspiracy. Oh, and it goes on and on talks about these conspiracy and he goes on to talk about Planet X Nibiru, Nemesis uh, you know all this sick stupid shit that Phil pushes on the community and slick and he'll code it right here's the real thing it's called Lucy. they changed the name it was called Lucifer but niggas got acting crazy and it's by the Max 
Planck Institute built this. It has nothing to do with searching for extraterrestrials and ETs. It doesn't. It's a large binocular telescope. Collaboration between astronomical institutes in Germany, Italy, and the U.S. Located at Mount Graham near Tucson, Arizona. It's in Tucson, Arizona, which he failed to tell you. It's not even in Italy, Rome. And they work with Arizona University. Y'all can look this up on your own. I'll add the link. Lucifer, near infrared spectroscopic utility with camera and integral field unit for extragalactic research. It's just a powerful telescope. He's spooking it out. Let's go back to this fraud. This family is Lucifer. What is it called? The DVD is now available. Also, uh, you could also stream it. Yeah. Our creation? Yeah, so you got to pay. You got to pay to be miseducated to get the whole DVD. Phil Valentine is a fraud. He's always been a fraud. He's always. I went. I went to. I've. I've been to. I've listened to Phil Valentine lectures. Let me just say this: fifteen years ago, before anybody, none of y'all even knew Phil Valentine. I was to go see him, and he was in California. Paid five dollars to watch him lecture for five straight hours. And he was talking about health, and this ain't good for you. That ain't good for you. Don't eat this. Don't eat that. So at the end of the lecture, people was like, "Well, what do we eat? We can't eat shit, Phil." For him to say, "All you need is sunlight and water." 15 years ago when he said that, all you need is sunlight and water. I threw my hands up in the air and I was done with him. I could not take him serious anymore. This was 15 years ago. I couldn't take him in serious anymore once he said all we need is sunlight and water. After sitting here paying $5 to watch him lecture for five long hours. And have no solution at the end. You either pay him to get a consultation or believe, hey, all you need is sunlight and water. I've watched Phil Valentine's lectures and watched his slide presentation. Because you'll have a slide presentation. Watch him. He won't have no sources. He'll have typed information of just him talking and giving his opinion. And there's no sources. The niggas of charlatan. This white man is a charlatan and he needs to be sat down. He should have been sat down years ago. Get him out of here with that garbage. Don't book him. He shouldn't be teaching anywhere. And you, these are supposedly conscious woke people believing him. And listening to him like he's just telling some truth. He's a fraud and I'm out of here.